Hey everybody, check it out. So this is one cool Jeep. Tuscadero pink was an incredibly popular color for the 2021 model year Wrangler. It was bold, it was bright, and people wanted more of it. So Jeep is bringing back a pink with its brand new color that doesn't yet have a name. But let's take a look at this thing. This is a concept here at the 2023 Easter Jeep Safari. And I want to give a big shout out to our trail sponsor, Onyx Off-Road. Check them out for all your latest and greatest off-road navigation. It integrates into CarPlay. It's really cool. But this Jeep features a bunch of neat AEV features and one really special suspension. So this is actually riding on air suspension and we're about to tackle that system off-road, see what it's like, watch it go up and down, all that kind of thing. But check this out, so it's a 4 by e Wrangler, it's a plug-in hybrid, about 20 miles of all electric range, and then it's got a gasoline engine as well to supplement that. Of course, a little bit of a bedazzling here on the Rubicon logo. This is a really cool top configuration, the half doors with the power sky top. You got the, uh, the side windows removed, they removed the rear windows here. I believe in this case is where they've hidden the air compressor, of course a full concept. AEV rear bumper here, 37 inch tall BFG KM3 mud terrains, and one of the coolest colors in the industry. A couple of cool little Easter eggs on the right rear. Check that out, Jeep. Bev since 1985. <laughs> That's really fun. So the Jeep folks having a little bit of fun with this bright pink. You got the little uh, Easter egg there in the rearview mirror. Pretty standard Wrangler interior. Black dash with some uh, kind of stretchy material, almost like legging material there on the shifter console. But a really cool Jeep. I think it's time we hop in and take it for a spin. Tommy, I am uh, gonna call this Jeep Barney. B-A-R-N-E-E, -E, if you will. Yeah, I don't wanna like step on any trademarks for a certain purple dinosaur, but it does <laughs> remind me of that. <laughs> and what makes it cool, obviously, is not just the color, right? It's kind of the next version of Tuscadero, which was a really cool color. It was a cool color, yeah, and it was super popular. They planned on building about 3,000 and demand far outstripped the supply, so, the bright colors are back. The Skittle colors have returned with this bright, um, I'm gonna call it more of a purple than a pink. Yeah, and uh, what makes it cool, like I was saying, is you hear that humming in the background? That's the air suspension yeah. uh, really working. And I've never been in a Jeep that's been uh, uh, lifted and bagged. <laughs> and it's pretty cool, you know, because uh, it does make for a much more supple ride. Well, the idea is, right, um, kind of a, a page out of the Land Rover book where you can adjust the ride height, lower it down so that you're uh, your shorter friends can get in and out, raise it up for the big rocks, and it's all done via this little controller. Now this is of course an AccuAir setup. You can see all the buttons here, how you can control it, even control it individually on each side. Um, now it is pretty soft, which I'm finding super interesting, right? So you got variable uh, spring rate with an air suspension, consistent damping quality though. So I'm curious though, we'll stop here and, and kind of check out the up and down motion. We'll see what it's like in the top and the bottom. Yeah, I mean the really fun thing about it is you can go from like, you know, overlandy to rock crawly to my favorite uh completely and utterly urban uh you know like lowrider which is i think pretty cool for a jeep now yeah i'm a little concerned about its longevity especially off-road right like how is it going to last over big whoops and across the rubicon trail but this is still just a concept idea it hasn't made it into production so we'll see though they're, they're playing with things that's what this event's all about what do you think of that well did you see the barbie jeep on the rear quarter yeah i know yeah so uh, i'm trying to uh kind of process all of this but uh gosh you know the the the, the, the 392 that's going to be the most collectible in let's say 20 years has got to be the Tuscadero one, right? Yeah, so if they do this in the 392, yeah. that's going to be a collectible model too. Now this one's a 4xe, so we're running on electricity only, completely silently. Um, it's a pretty cool experience. We're about to climb up some slick rock, and when you're going really steep, a great thing too is you don't have to worry about oil, oil getting in places it shouldn't be, because of course the engine's not running. Yeah, and uh, this suspension is making this so cush. Uh, it's a little too cush, though. I, I love Getting it. Getting a lot of head bob here. I love it, but I think uh, you know you're probably losing a little bit of control. Yeah, but that's you right. are gaining a lot more. Uh, I would say you know, bottom end cushion. Go rider mode. Yeah, drop it down, Dad. All right, I'm gonna go to one. That's pretty dramatic, and I think the up and down travel is something like five and a half inches. Here, let me come up to the front. You want to go up? Yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, overland mode. 
Cool. You want to go one, one more? Yeah, that's uh, off-road uh, rock crawl mode. And then here's a really cool thing. Check this out. I think you can adjust each wheel independently. Look at that. So you can flex it out just by using the air suspension. So all you Jeep folks out there that want to get a little bit of flex out on the trail, you can do it all via the air suspension. That is crazy. Now, of course, the compressor does have to refill the tank to kind of keep up, but that's pretty cool, Dan. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Uh, I could get used to this, man. I could really get used to this. I, I feel like this is, uh, this is the uh, Jeep for the urban Moab and everybody. Let me uh, check out the actual um, suspension system. So you can see in place of the I'm, I'm lifting coil it, Tommy. spring, you've got your airbag there. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see it go up and down. And they said that um, the only thing they had to disconnect is the sway bar system on this Jeep. It's got mechanical disconnects, but if you've got an air suspension, you can kind of lower it or down and do it that way. That's pretty wild. All right, Tommy, your turn to drive. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, you know, I do wonder if the Jeep community is going to catch on to this air suspension thing because so much about it is like, uh, you know, the stance of the Jeep, the, the static stance and... I want to bounce it. That's, <laughs> that's an idea. Not a good idea, but an idea. What's wrong with that? <laughs> That'd be cool. Like, mm, 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 mm. That'd um, be so cool. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited about this whole concept. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a new new world that you can be. We're going straight here, right? Nope. We're oh, we're going to make, right make a right. Perfect. Well, what do you think of how it drives? It's super cush, man. Yeah, but that's the middle setting, Dad. I mean, of course it's going to be good in the middle setting because you've got the top end travel. You're not topping out the suspension. But I bet if we go to three, and of course the air suspension is frantically trying to catch up because we've been playing with it constantly. All right, try three. I, just, I heard it go up. It's still very cushy. Uh, Tommy's too... Uh, I'm not convinced. You're too, you're too old school I'm for this. I'm not convinced. It's okay. Right here, yep. Yeah. We're going right through that yep. little two track? Yep. Perfect, okay. I'm convinced. I, I can get into this, man. I'm, I'm worried about the longevity, Dad, and the reliability. Especially you know, in a Wrangler that's going to be wheeled hard. But you know, um, Defender does this. Yeah, once again, I worry about the longevity and the reliability. Especially Land if it's going to be wheeled. Land Rover and Range Rover do air suspension. Everybody does. Even uh, Wagoneer has. Grand Wagoneer has air yes, suspension. Yes, but Dad, the truth is air suspension fails. Give it enough time and it will fail. Yeah, 10 years. Or less. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it overheats, the compressors can overheat, so I'm not sold on the air suspension. I think it's a cool thing, I just, I need to see it in action for a couple of years to fully be on board. But um, I, I like that they're trying some new things here, we're, we're exploring, and I really like this color. I think the color is actually fantastic, we're going to go back into the middle setting. Yeah. It is cool how it goes up and down so fast. So for me, um, I have a bad back after too many years of off-roading, and this solves that problem. Uh, I just love the fact that now I feel like I'm riding around on a pillow between me and the uh, red dirt in Moab. It's wonderful. It's a little squeaky. Well, it's a prototype, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can't expect the whole world out of it, right? I do love the 4xE, though. I think the 4xE side of it's really cool, being able to off-road in pure silence. Well, we have replaced that with the compressor noise. So. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got a compressor instead of uh, engine note. But I'm sure once it fills up... Right. Yep. It'll be uh, absolutely silent and comfy. Anyway, guys, uh, let us know in the comments below what do you think of this. And uh, Jeep has yet to name it. Like I said, I named it Barney. But if you have any ideas what you should, what Jeep should call this, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And remember, go to alltfl.com uh, for more news, views, and, of course, real-world reviews. Um, see you guys next time. Ciao.